My name's Brandon Kruger. Uh, I was the notebooker this year for Robocause Robotics. And um, some challenges that we face with the notebook. Um, first of all, you want to make sure you have really good communication with everyone on your team. There were a couple times where, like, I missed a practice, I missed a tournament, and I had sometimes trouble getting notes and pictures to record in the notebook. Um, and this got better as the year went on, of course, but um, it's very key, if you can, from the very beginning, to just have very good communication with your teammates. So that was a challenge. And then also, um, deciding on a format um, was a bit challenging at the start, but once you get a format down that works, um, you're pretty much set for the rest of the year. But sticking to that format can also be really helpful if it's good enough. So those are some of the challenges that we can overcome this year. So a couple tips for the notebook in general, and uh, I'll show you a couple of them. Um, one tip would be to include robot CADs and any kind of drawings uh, such as these, um, CADs such as these, CAD designs. This kind of stuff um, is, is really helpful for the judges because it shows, even from the earliest on, like these were made in August, like when we were just starting our season. So from the earliest moments of our season, we could uh, easily document what we thought our robot could look like, which is really helpful because towards the end of the year, you can look back, the judges can look back, and see how much you've grown from what you initially thought would be a good design to what you now think is a good design. Maybe it's the same, maybe it's completely different, but either way, it'll show some kind of growth. And also, uh, making sure you record um, all of your tests that you do. Any tests you do, um, no matter how small it may be, maybe you don't have to record every one, but you should at least get a lot of them down because we had um, early on, we didn't really record much of our tests, and later on we realized this actually isn't really helpful because we couldn't really see what we did wrong to correct it to make it right. So making sure you get tests in your notebook clearly labeled, um, it may seem tedious, but it's, it can prove to be really helpful for growth and improvement throughout the year. Uh, time per week. It kind of does vary. The, the weeks, like especially the week before a competition, it could be a lot more, but um, I would say anywhere between, uh, probably anywhere between 8 to 12 hours per week, I'd honestly say. Maybe less sometimes, if I'm being honest. I wasn't really fully focused, but some weeks before competitions especially, um, yeah, it can really get to like 10 to 12 hours um, per week, which can be quite challenging sometimes. So I guess another tip I could throw in, manage your time well. Um, don't wait till the last minute to get it all done because you'll inevitably be missing things, not get signatures, whatever it may be. Just manage your time well. Uh, very crucial for the notebook. Yeah. I, I do think you could because, um, and this is from past experience also has helped me a lot with this, but just getting those, like I said earlier, those early ideas, CADs, whatever it may be, the CADs can prove to be very helpful. And making sure you just go in detail, step by step, how you did, how you built a certain thing, what you did to test it, what went right, what went wrong. Um, and we tried our best to do that for every iteration of a robot we could. So I think for most, if not all, of the robot designs that we actually completed in our notebook, uh, you could probably build a working robot from. How big does it need to be? Um, it, for the notebook, size isn't that important. Um, I mean, I, you know, if you have a good amount of pages, I mean, it does show that you've put in a lot of work to the season, that your team has put in a lot of work. But if you're just filling it up with nothing or just a, like a whole bunch of pictures, not the pictures are bad, pictures are great, but if it's just so many pictures or just things that like you don't, really need to be commenting on like I don't know tightening gears or something but like the page shot the page count doesn't necessarily mean it's a bad notebook you could have just real you could have really good content in it really clear-cut steps because like like we said earlier the goal of the notebook is to be able to step by step recreate the robot and if your notebook can do that sufficiently then it, it, the page count doesn't really matter at all uh, yeah, for number of people doing the notebook, um, we, I was the main person doing it, but we also had Duncan as our assistant notebooker uh, to mainly tackle all the programming things because that's his area of expertise. And I think that's what it comes down to. As long as the notebooker knows what they're doing, 
then you could just have one person doing the notebook if they really know and have a grasp on what they're doing. But what was really helpful having Duncan doing the programming stuff for our notebook this year is I, I, that's not my uh, area of expertise at all. I don't really get any of that, to be honest. But he does, and he's able to just write a much more detailed, thorough explanation than I ever could. So if, it, it really depends on how well your notebooker knows their stuff. So if, if your notebooker knows everything that's going on in your team, then yeah, you could just have one. Uh, the design process itself is probably one of, if not the most important part of the VEX Robotics competition. Um, a judge actually told us at a competition one time that VEX isn't necessarily just about building robots, it's actually about understanding and getting to know and use the design process. And that plays a massive role in your notebook because you want to be using the design process to um, go through how you built your robot. Like that's that's what they want to see. If they can, if the judges can see that you are using the design process, then that will definitely improve your notebook if you can clearly show how you're using it, whether that be um, in any part of building your robot. But it's very crucial to understand that.